Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Prayer is the master key. Amen. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Happy Sunday and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Teresa and I'm happy to have you here with me to pray, praise God, and have a quick reflection on today's Sunday Gospel reading. And we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray to the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We begin with a, a hymn of praise to God. We sing Psalm 100. All people that on earth do dwell. All people that on earth do dwell. Sing to the Lord with cheer full voice him serve with fear his praise forth tell come ye before him and rejoice to father son and holy Ghost, the God whom heaven and earth adore, from men and from the angel hosts, be praise and glory evermore. Amen. In today's gospel reading, Jesus is talking to his disciples. He's talking to you. He's talking to me. We are reading from the gospel of St. Luke, chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. It is the parable of of the persistent widow. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. So now Jesus tells the disciples this parable about a widow who persistently went to the king to bring her grievance before him. She kept at it till he got bothered enough to answer her. So Jesus is now saying, while the, the king said, I'm reading just a little part of this gospel reading, but I encourage all of us to go back and read it. Luke 18, one through eight. The judge, for a, a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually, he thought, while it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, 
because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. Look at what Jesus is telling us. Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Brothers and sisters, we are to call on the Lord day and night. We are to pray without season. That's what Jesus is telling us. It doesn't matter what the physical is showing you. It doesn't matter what it looks like or what happened to so, so, and so. Keep praying. Have faith. Jesus then says, he concludes this by saying, But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Are we faithful? Do we trust in Jesus? Do we pray and leave everything to him? Do we? Do we trust in him, in his mercy? Blood and water flowing out for us to wash us clean, to help us, to save us, to deliver us. We're keeping today's gospel short and simple. And Jesus is telling us it's basically persistent prayer. And then... I'll just chip in a little bit about today's first reading, which was from the book of Exodus, chapter 17, verses 8 through 13, where Moses sent Joshua and the army to go fight with the Amaleks. So long as Joshua's and Moses' hands were raised up in prayer, Joshua's army was winning. But whenever he was wearied and his arms came down, the other army was winning. So Aaron and Hur supported Moses' hands, one on one side and one on the other, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. We also have help to keep our arms steady through our daily prayers, a day and night, when we are happy, when we are sad, when we, are, when we don't even know what to do. We're supposed to pray. And we have help to keep our arms up. The Holy Spirit, the saints, the sacraments, especially the Holy Spirit. Say, come Holy Spirit, fill me. Teach me to pray. Help me to pray. Amen. Amen. And then also, I'm just going to chip in today's responsorial psalm, which I love so much. It's from Psalm 121. The psalmist says, I lift my eyes toward the mountains. Whence shall help come to me? My help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. That's our focus today and all our days. God will help us. Like the widow, we are going to pray without season. We're going to be persistent. Keep on knocking that prayer. Ask, seek, knock. Jesus, I love you. I trust in you. Help me. Help me. Help me. But always remember, God's will be done. Amen. Amen. And then we go through the day today and all this week. No matter what comes our way, we're going to say, My help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Amen. Amen. I'm going to round up with a quick song, a chorus from my childhood as well, as usual. Prayer is the key. Jesus is telling us to pray always, to pray persistently, to persevere in prayer. So we're going to sing this. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Ale, 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 ale. Ale, hallelujah, hallelujah, ale, ale, hallelujah. Amen, amen. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Praising God. 
praying and trusting in Jesus. We pray the grace together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. See you next time. Goodbye.